Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight, boy do I have a crazy match for you guys and the Yamato. Now, uh, you guys know I love the Yamato. Now, first thing we need to mention is there is division on my team that is the uh, TT guys. We've got Will Sock, we've got Skirt Monkey, we've got Now Awake. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look around and see if I can locate them on the, on the map or on the game. And it uh, turns out that they spawn mid. They are the three ships that you see directly in the middle of the team right now. Uh, directly across from B. So, I know that they're close by. I know that I'm going to have a little bit of support. I don't know exactly what they're planning on doing. We're not communicating because they're in a party of their own and I'm solo and I don't have my, uh, my you know, headset on or anything like that. So, there's no communication going on here. But because I know that they're here... I can feel a little bit more confident in the uh, things that I'm about to do. Now, that being said, you might have noticed that this is literally worst case scenario for a battleship. There are five enemy destroyers, and this is a legendary match. So, not preferable. However, we have a destroyer next to me. And this destroyer is going to give me a false sense of security. He's going to go in, and he is in a gearing. Very few destroyers can handle themselves in a gunfight with a gearing. Let's just put this out there. So if you are in a gearing, and you rush a cap, and you run into a destroyer, you will 9 times out of 10 absolutely annihilate that destroyer. So, with that in mind, I'm like, okay, well I've got two destroyers with me, one of them's a gearing, I feel pretty good about my odds of going in with this guy into the cap. So we're going to be super aggressive, despite the fact that we know there are five enemy destroyers. So this should prove to anybody, without a shadow of a doubt, that there is absolutely no reason for everybody to sit 30 kilometers away from everybody. Okay, I am in the Yamato gigantic ship one of the largest warships ever built if not the largest warship i think it was the largest battleship i'll say that the largest battleship ever built but uh we we get a first shot out we get a citadel right off the bat now this utiloy right here i'm like oh this guy's gonna get murdered but you'll notice that my my gearing for whatever reason is just not shooting i have no idea why he just refuses to shoot at the guy and worse than that He's actually going to get killed by these guys because he refuses to actually shoot his guns and he's not doing his job. He's actually, finally he opens up, but there are torpedoes headed towards me. Again, I know this is coming. We're going to take two of them. Not a whole lot I can do about that. But we know there are two destroyers here. We just lost our gearing, which is really unfortunate. The Udaloid did take some damage there, and you saw, like, if the guy in the gearing had started firing the moment that Udaloid was spotted, he'd have killed that Udaloid in no time flat. But because he waited so long, and I have no idea what he was waiting for, because he waited so long, he never actually got a chance to, uh, to shoot the guy, or never got a chance to kill him, and then he goes down, and that's a huge loss for our team. But, uh, yeah, you'll see right here, I have a chance to shoot the Sean Yang, or the Cian Yang. Whoever it is. But I'm holding my fire because there's a bigger threat that is closer, which is the Udaloy. I don't want to get rushed by this Udaloy. I know he's low. I know I can kill him in one shot. I just need a chance to see him. Now, remember, I run Concealment Mod on my, my Yamato, so I don't have that extra RGA, Range of Guaranteed Acquisition. So I'm forced to go ahead and take this shot at the Xion Yang. And we absolutely smashed the guy. But you can see, I anticipated torpedoes coming from the Cien Yang, and we managed to dodge. Now, we get a shot with the rear gun as well, and uh, we don't hit him, because we hit the island. But, again, our secondaries are doing their thing. You can see I'm trying to use the freaking uh, target thing to get the secondaries to do what I need them to do. And you can see we dodge both racks from the Cien Yang, no problem. And then, of course, my uh, teammates... Flounder uh, behind me is actually able to finish off the Udaloy, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, I didn't want to fire my guns right there at that guy who was low health. I used my... Oh no! We're going to take another Torp. Okay. Now, one of the things that you'll have to remember is that the Yamato has literally the best um, Torp protection in the game. 
It's uh, 50% or 55% or whatever it is. It's ridiculous. It's really good. So you can take torpedoes in this thing as long as you're taking them to the belt as best you can. But you don't want to take them if you don't have to. And managing your damage cons is actually huge. Now, this Brandenburg has no idea I'm here. Like, I, I mean, he knows I'm here, but he has no idea I'm here. And we're able to get a shot off before he comes around the corner. And so he can't even spot us using the smoke firing penalty. Isn't it lovely? Um, so we're going to get to reload and hit him again. But unfortunately, he's going to disappear right about the time I get loaded here. Now, I should have taken a blind shot here, but I didn't want to. I wanted to wait until I had an opportunity, and I know I have a, a plane about to come up. So I wait until I get my plane so that I can place the shot and get a much better opportunity to take the guy out. As soon as my plane gets airborne and gets above the smoke, we're able to spot him and we take the shot. Now, as soon as I spot him and shoot, the Cien Yang comes in to YOLO me. Now, obviously, this is very dangerous. We've got one gun remaining, which is just a rear gun. We go ahead, take that shot. And, of course, we leave him with just enough to torp us into oblivion. However, we know that he's going to be trying to torp us. So we slow down. We turn all the way in. And look at this dodge, boys. We only take two of... Well, we take three of them, actually. So, that is what? Six torpedoes total that we've taken in this fight so far? And we still have 24,000 hit points. Now, we have no more heal. But we do have will to rebuild active as well. And because we manage our damage cons relatively well, we are not stuck with a permanent flood. So, this just goes to show you. And we just traded that health for, what, three destroyers? We got rid of their uh, Udaloy. We got rid of their Cien Yang. And there was the other one that was in the mid here, too. Um... But either way, at least two destroyers plus their their guy. Now, we get a beautiful shot. Double Citadel on the Gascon. Uh, he's going to try to push. And here's where I get a little bit impatient. There's no reason for me to rush this shot. You can see I'm trying to figure out where auto-aim is happy with. And then I go ahead and rush the shot. There's no reason to rush that shot. I'm not spotted. It's not like the guy's going to know I'm here. And so I rush the shot and I end up overshooting. And uh, that's real unfortunate really is we could have easily removed this guy and because we rushed that shot he's actually going to be a thorn in my side for the rest of the match mostly now again we managed to get a assist cap on charlie we managed to get an assist cap on bravo we managed to help kill two destroyers taking most of the health off of them oh well i i didn't take most of the health off the first guy but i helped take uh, the health off of them and uh we're at least spotting people as well as taking torpedoes in a ship that has very good torpedo protection. A little known fact is the Yamato is actually relatively agile too. Especially if you're used to running American uh, battleships like the Iowa, for instance, or the Montana. Where it has an absolutely horrendous turning rate. But, the Yami is actually relatively good in terms of uh, its maneuverability. So, being able to manage your, your throttle or your... your yeah, I guess it would be throttle. Managing your throttle, turning, throwing people off, even at close range in destroyers. You're in a battleship. This should be the easiest kill of any destroyer's life when they're that close to you. But some simple things like slowing down and turning in and stuff, trying to throw them off. Because they're panicking. They know that they have seconds to live when they make those plays. Like, they, they are going to die. It is a suicide play that they are trying to make and here we show some beautiful map awareness being able to thread the needle shooting through the uh, gap in the island to try to finish off this Gascon and you can see I'm getting a little frustrated because I just can't seem to finish the guy off you know in true Spartan fashion I gotta leave everybody just a little bit alive but we have a Yami out here he's gonna be targeting me because I'm the low man on the totem pole and of course we didn't manage to kill the Gascon even with the rear turret of justice but uh, Yami takes a good shot at us. He gets one penetration. I think it was an overpin. Um, but Gascon, again, should be dead. <laughs> but he just somehow manages to live. And now he's got a heal going. And he has a broadside look at me with those high-velocity French guns. And they absolutely smashed me. And I'm very fortunate that he didn't just absolutely kill me right there. 
Uh, because Yami Broadside and only had 24,000 hit points or 18,000 hit points or whatever it was, is, is just begging to die. But we get another shot out and finally able to take down the Gasconia and that leaves just the Yamato. And here we've already got the guns on the right side, so we're going to swing all the way out. We're about to be behind the island. He's not going to be able to see us, and that is going to allow us to get a blind fire shot on him where he can't see us, but boy, can we see him. And this shot's going to find its mark. Wait for it. Yeah. There's our high caliber. And again, not the highest damage game in the world, but a very good showing of what you can do in battleships as an aggressive player, even in the worst situations possible. Dreadnought high caliber, second on the leaderboard, while rushing three destroyers. At least two destroyers. Plus, there was five of them in the match. So pay attention to your surroundings, bait people into launching their torpedoes early, and then take evasive action. You'd be surprised how often people throw their torps really early, and you can easily dodge them, even at ridiculously close ranges in battleships. So let me know what you guys think down below, and GG to the TT guys, as I sent them messages after the match anyway. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.